plant fam welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Jacqueline this is part of my jungle it's the kitchen anyway if you're not new here welcome back so today I have a fun little video for you if you guys watched my last plant shopping video where I went to Massachusetts I picked up this cute little vanilla orchid variegated vanilla orchid from the plant ward it was $25 I kept saying it was $20 I don't know why I had it in my head that it was $20 but it was $25 and um basically I want to repot it and this plant is epiphytic so that means it will grow on other plants usually trees and it is not a parasitic Plant, so it doesn't harm the plant that it's growing on it just prefers to grow up other plants so I have a couple of pieces of little wood thingamabobs here that I thought would be really really stinking cute to mount this onto I've got some moss over here and a new little clear container because I like to have my orchids in a clear container and then I've got my orchid mix obviously and I'll probably put in a little bit of moss and just a teeny tiny bit of soil so that's the plan I'm probably gonna turn the camera over so you can actually see what I'm doing but I wanted to show you first like how cute is this it's got new growth so cute so it's about the same size should be good right yeah this will fit in there it's gonna be cute I think it's gonna be cute okay let's do this okay but first a word from today's sponsor happy and Polly they sent me this adorable mushroom ceramic pet fountain it was super easy to set up it just comes with a few pieces here that you attach for the pump stick it in the bottom and then feed the wire through the hole you want to make sure that the hole is nice and plugged up so that you don't get any leaks this ceramic water fountain is so cute I was surprised by how much water that we were able to fit this is the perfect size water fountain for our two cats so really easy setup as you can see plugging it in and it turned on really quickly really easily and the thing I love most about this is that it doesn't make any noise so not only do I not hear the pump but I also do not hear the running water which is really nice and it is crasher pants approved so he came over and started drinking from it right away which is really good because he doesn't drink enough water this is a really great way to get your cats to drink more water as well if you didn't know cats in nature do not drink standing water it's usually very dirty so they prefer running water so having a water fountain in your house can actually get your pets to drink more water the new water fountain is also tigress approved they have both been drinking from it and enjoying it Definitely recommend putting a mat down underneath it so that they don't spill, but otherwise we have been loving it. So thank you so much to Happy and Polly for sponsoring this video. You guys can use Jungle 10 to get 10% off everything on their website. They have some really cute stuff, but let's get back into the video. Okay, I think you could see, hopefully you could see what I've got going on here. It's a little bit of an awkward angle for me, but we'll figure it out. Hopefully I don't keep knocking into you. So I've got my little clear cup here and my moss over here. I'm just going to put a little bit of like literally the tiniest bit of soil. And then the rest will mostly be orchid bark since this is an orchid after all mix the two together Just a little bit of moss in here 
Yes, I mix my soil like a barbarian. I'm aware. Do that for now. Because I don't know what this is in. I think it's just in moss. Yeah. It's just been growing in moss. If you could see that. Let's get it out of here and see what we're working with. Okay. Not a ton of roots, but there's definitely roots. Nice thick root right there. So it's not a bad thing. Put some moss back in here. I'm gonna stick this guy in here. I probably should have put this in first on the side. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Let me put this in here first, like this. And then I'm gonna put some soil in the bottom. And then my orchid will go in there. Just want to see. Oh, sorry. See? Already knocked into you. See, it's got some nice aerial roots already. So I feel like it should attach to here really nicely. I like to put bark in the top to hold it down because it looks nice. Okay, so I'm going to try and lay this down. That's stuff coming out here, but the bark probably will. And what I wanted to do was put some moss on here. I don't really know how I'm going to attach it. I didn't really have a plan for that. I need like some twine maybe um have like the gardeners velcro -y stuff but it's green and I don't think that that's really the look that I'm going for here I just want something to be able to spray without having to spray the wood here the purpose of the moss. Okay fam, so I finished potting up this cute little variegated vanilla orchid. I don't love this white string. 
I wish I had like, I don't know, something better. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions of something that would look better um, to hold like the moss down and everything. I just like having the moss here because I want something that I can spray instead of spraying this like little piece of craft wood all the time, but it doesn't look bad. I think she looks really stinking cute. I put her in this little terracotta that doesn't have drainage so that I can just throw water at her in here and I'll probably put her up in the greenhouse, although I would really like to have her out here. So um, we'll see once I have the shelves up in the bedroom soon and the humidifier going in there, I should be able to keep her happy she doesn't necessarily need the extra humidity but it'll help her attach to her thing um yeah that's really it she's super cute i'm not mad about it let me know what you think in the comments below just wanted to show you the process of doing this because i thought it was a fun little project that we could do together and see how this grows. I don't know what I'm going to do when it gets to the top of this, but we'll, we'll figure that out when the time comes. I have this one. It's just much thicker. So I thought the thinner one would look better and fit better in the pot, but super cute little vanilla orchid. I don't know if it'll give you variegated vanilla beans, but I would be pretty cool, right? So let me know in the comments below if you have this plant and you have any care tips for this plant. I've had a regular green one and it did okay until the thrips decided to make a meal out of it, like literally overnight. So <laughs> that was fine, but I'm loving this cute little variegated babe. Anyway, so. that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, you should give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. I see you hand gesturing out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> and um, there's a join button down there if you wanna be part of the official plant fam. If not, there is a super thanks button. If you wanna super thanks me and donate a few dollars to my channel, you get a cute little highlighted comment like you would in a live stream. So yeah. That's really it. There's um, nothing in my shop right now that I know of, except for like some Syndapsis Splash. But I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna restock that soon. I swear. So <laughs> stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I hope I see you in the next one with growth updates. Okay. Okay. Bye. <laughs>